so we are 25 percent of the way into mm -hmm. our books uh and we're here for the first oh, check-in check-in if you will uh, initial thoughts yay nay not so sure yet i'm not so sure not so sure Obviously, the author is really talented. His uh -huh, writing uh -huh, style is uh -huh. very nice. Obviously. But I feel like I'm not invested in the story at uh -huh. all yet. Okay. Like, I'm not invested in the characters. I don't know. Characterization is very important to me. Uh -huh. Well, all I can say is it is a slow burn. So, give it time and try not to take such a long period in between you know don't read five pages here and then wait and read five pages and try to read a little more at a time when you can you have to let the tension build you know there's only so much either one of us are gonna get out of the first 25 percent uh because you know you know. have four you, you have another 300 pages yeah uh, so <clears throat> and i know that book it it's it takes its time to build okay so i don't know i'm not fully invested yet okay well hopefully by the next check-in you will be hopefully hopefully what uh, do you think about your book <laughs> <laughs> oh let me count the ways oh come on it's not that bad uh, i'm really trying to give it a fair chance um it's it's not i i have read much worse i think we both know <laughs> okay. that okay I, I i don't like the male at all period is he too um, grumpy for you <laughs> he's not grumpy he's this this is not grumpy he's he's just he's he's a jerk he's a major jerk and i don't understand i feel like it's just over the top not just with him, but all around. It's over the top, you know. Him him in particular, yeah, because it's like, oh, there's this guy and he's, he's he, you know, he's mean to everyone, but he's also a child prodigy and a, and a genius and a billionaire and uh, just so happens to train in one of the most deadly martial <laughs> arts in the world. Um... And he has a massive schlong. Oh, come uh, on! And uh, there's more. Um, <laughs> uh, and he has a perfect memory. No. Um, yes. And he has a perfect memory. It's not that his memory is perfect. He recalls everything in exact detail. But it's like a, it's like a condition. It's not like he's just bragging about how awesome his memory is. Well, he brags about everything else. So, <laughs> does, does this seem open-minded? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not, very open-minded. Okay, I'm and not then getting okay, there. So I'm 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 trying to look past that. Okay. Uh, honestly, I think one of the things that bothered me the most was meeting her friend, the princess. It's because she because gets her it's own not it, because it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough that they that her brother just so happens to be friends with one of the richest, most powerful men in the world. She just casually ended up in a no. dorm room with an actual princess. No, did you read the part about the college they go to? I read about the college. Yes. Yeah, so it's a college for like rich people and politicians, sons, okay, well, and whatever. Okay. Well, regardless. And they met at college. Okay. Well, yes, I know they were they were. I can't. Bosom buddies in the dorm. <laughs> um, <laughs> So okay, mad. so no, I just it's been a bit of a struggle so far. Um but I am trying. Mm -hmm. Um I'm 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 trying. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna stick with it. Okay. And maybe as with Harvest Home for you, it will draw me in and I will become more invested and, and it will get better. Okay. I guess we'll see. So that is our first Little update here. 
check in at the halfway point, I guess. Yes, we'll be back in the halfway point. Hopefully with much improved attitudes. I really hope so. Yeah. <laughs> now it's all. Okay. Holy crap, you're gorgeous. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Oh, all right, uh, we are here with the halfway update. Yes, update halfway now. Um, how are things going? Yes, no. <laughs> I don't know. I think <laughs> the the slow burn is not for me. Yeah. I think I definitely need something more fast paced. Okay. Okay. I mean, and again, it's not the author's fault. Uh -huh. The author is clearly really very talented. <laughs> But you can only describe the cornfields and the crazy old lady so many times before you're like, okay, I get it. Like, well, I don't know. I think it's because you didn't grow up with the cornfields and the crazy old lady. I grew up with the crazy old lady and the cornfields. So wouldn't that be so, more annoying? No, because it, about it, it, over no, over? it's it's a it's a nostalgia factor, if you will. Uh, it reminds you of childhood, whether it's good or bad. Still reminds you of childhood. I guess. But I don't know. I, it, it is definitely a slow burn. And uh, and it's it's sometimes tough to take a slow burn when you, uh, you know, when you have to read it in short spurts. So. I mean, you know how I am with movies. You know how when a movie starts and they mm. like hint at things, but don't really tell you the whole story. How am I usually during those movies? All right, so this is what it's like watching a movie with Paige, okay? <laughs> movie starts. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Jeff, huh? hold on. Who's Jeff? <laughs> oh, he's he's that guy. Okay. <laughs> so what happened last week? What happened last week? <laughs> I'm not Jeff. I don't know what happened last week. <laughs> I'm not good with stories like that wait what does that mean did he put the pen down on the left side what does, what does that mean that's that's how it goes and though sweetheart just watch the movie and you'll just, find out i'm just very impatient so i don't like that i have to wait so long to get something answered because then it makes me think oh did i miss something that's that's my fear like i feel like i'm just not getting it not that they just haven't well, explained it yet. Okay, well... So this is kind of starting to give me that vibe. Like, am I just stupid? Is that why I don't get it? Or am I, no, is it really, no. am I really still supposed to know nothing? I, I mean, you know as much as he knows, which isn't a whole lot. I know, but I don't know. I think it's also because I'm someone who likes, like, the, the crime shows and stuff, and I like to have it figured out by the end before they figure it out, but you can't do it with something like this. No, I mean, but uh, I when know. you when you read an Agatha Christie, you don't know what's going on. You think you do, That's but... Diff but those are more pulls, fast case. She, she pulls the rug out from under you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm still not you will invested. Okay, you will figure out what's going on. I'm sure by the next update, I'll be like... Okay, yes. I'm ready. Yeah, you'll figure it out. But I shouldn't have to get 75% of the way into a book to be like, okay, I'm ready. I do love the world that he is putting you in as the reader, and I do feel like I I get it, but I just think he drags it out. Like, I think, like, a quarter of the way through? Okay, that's fair. But now I'm, like, halfway through, and I feel like I've had, like, no plot. <laughs> that's, I mean, in romance books, by the halfway point, there's usually a sex scene by now. She says this because um, the halfway point is when the first uh, sex really occurs in uh, Twisted Love. That's pretty standard for all romance novels, honestly. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I'm, I'm wondering how I have 50% of this book left. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's so much that's still left. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just... This book has a lot of plot. So the hip kids refer to plot in movies as nudity. And I imagine this book does have a lot of plot. No, it has actual storylines. <laughs> sorry about that camera shake. She just hit me. <laughs> 
It has actual story to it. I didn't give you just a smut fest. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I feel like you are being more generous and kind with Harvest Home, and I don't know if it's because you're trying to uh, protect my feelings <laughs> or if you really feel that way. No, I really feel that way. <laughs> so should I be trying to protect no, I want you to be honest. Because I want you to be honest. Um, wow, I hate this. I, you hate I it? I really do. I hate it so much. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't like anything? No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I just no. He's he's awful <laughs> and so unrealistic wow. as a person. I'm sorry. I just um. <laughs> Great. I'm well, sorry. I hope you guys are ready for a rant video because apparently that's what we're gonna get. What? Is it really that bad? I don't. There's nothing here that I like. <laughs> there is nothing here that I like. Oh my god. Everything is ludicrous. Ludicrous? Yes. I just read a scene where someone dressed up as corn. <laughs> made them horny because they were drunk off of some random concoction from the it's, old lady. It's not a random concoction from the old lady. I just read a scene where... Ludicrous. I just read a scene where uh, a, a, apparently after like a 24-hour a, a sprint of just getting it on... Uh, they wake up to get it on again, but he has a business call. So he's like, hey... <laughs> Shut your mouth, and I'm gonna take you over here on the couch. <laughs> and it describes the couch being moved from one side of the room <laughs> all the way across to the other side of the room. How is and that ludicrous? That could happen. That could happen. I can't with you. No. You're not even giving it a lines. chance. Oh man, the lines. Some of these lines. <laughs> what? Are you joking? My glasses keep falling off because I'm just like, I'm in shock. He thinks that someone upsets her. So he turns to her in all seriousness. Says, I will find his friends and his family <laughs> and I will burn them to ash. <laughs> Everything he loves will burn. It's the around him. It's the touch her and you die. Everything trope. around him will burn. And he will be a miserable, awful person, and then I will make <laughs> him eat the ashes of everything that I burned. Okay, yes, he is he is intense. No human being says that. No no <laughs> actual human being says that. Because it's it's If someone to gave you trouble, I'd say who is it? I will punch him, not who is it? I will turn him into cinders. It'll, Nobody says that outside of a fantasy. It makes sense because his family was kind of like, like mob related ish, but not really. So obviously he's just like super intense. You're protective and possessive. Okay, but I, again, I, I would never, I'd never be like, oh, who is this guy? I'm gonna find him and tie him to a chair and then find his family and his friends and drown him in a vat of chocolate. You, that didn't happen. And then sell it at the market and make him watch. God. Anyway, we're halfway in. It's not going so well, guys. I'm so mad. I feel like this is just a waste. It's... It's an experiment. It's an experiment. I should have picked another book. It's okay. I thought that you would have been more open-minded. I'm very open-minded. Uh... So, you're telling me... Let oh me see boy. how many reviews oh this boy. book has. Oh boy. We're, we're just we're just all wrong. There's such a divide in <laughs> what we enjoy reading. You know, for me, one of my favorite horrors, you're like, oh, this is boring. 
and I like it. And one of your favorite romances, I'm like, oh my goodness, what is this crap? So you're saying over 125,000 people are wrong? Well, that many people read Ding Coombs, and I think they're wrong, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. Halfway there. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Bye guys. Hi right, folks. We are here. We have our coffee. And... 75% of the way. What do you think now that you're 75% of the way in? I'm invested now. Uh huh. I I am enjoying the storyline. Mm -hmm. I still don't like our main character very much. Mm -hmm. He's annoying, mm -hmm. and I don't like the way he talks about his wife. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely invested. There there was some scandal. Mm -hmm. I'm finally getting answers on things, which I appreciate. But mm -hmm. I'm still a little mad that it took 75% of the way for me to get answers on said things. Uh huh. But I'm I'm invested. Okay. I think I'll be able to get through the end a lot faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This the last hundred pages, it'll it'll really start ramping up for you. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna finish it today, to be honest. Yeah. Because I just really want to know what happens now. Right. But. Well, and, and you you know you built up a little momentum. You don't want to lose themes. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'll actually finish it today. But okay. I don't know. Is. It's just weird because then like, I hate how, it's a catch 22 because I love the way that the author creates this world that you're in. But I think it's just my personal r reading preferences. I don't like when someone drones on and on about the setting because mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I get it. I'm in a cornfield. <laughs> like, I know how to picture a cornfield. You don't have to tell me what it looks like, you know? And most people want that though. They, they, they want the description because, in particular for a setting because the setting is often the thing that gets neglected the most. I understand. You, you get, uh, you know, you get this, this scene of two people talking in a room and then the next scene they're out and about in town and you have no idea what any of this stuff looks like. You're just guessing at it. No. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm a very visual person so I think I just naturally picture things while I read. I don't need you to spend a whole page describing mm -hmm. the street to me. I don't know. Havoc, what's your opinion on this? What do you think? Are you a setting guy? Are you more about the characters? You want to jump into the action? Yeah? Okay. We've had an expert opinion. What did he say? Hmm? What did he say? I think he just wants to get right into it. See? You know? Me too. I mean, I have the same pet peeve in romance books because the authors of romance books will... The one thing they always describe in way too much detail is like the... Like the male love interest, like where he lives. I don't care what his house looks like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just tell me, is he someone who cares about his house? Like does he actually decorate or is it like a bachelor pad? Just tell me like a brief description and I can fill in the gaps. I almost always skim that kind of stuff. So I think that's the only thing with this book for me. Gotcha. I don't know. At the okay. same time, I love the world he creates. Mm -hmm. I just wish it wouldn't take so long. It's coming along. <laughs> don't feel like you have to be nice. <laughs> be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm not at all invested in this book. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, my... <sighs> I said I, my my main issue with it is just that uh, everything is a cliche, everything is a trope, everything. I mean, it's astounding <laughs> to see so many in one place, and I another one pops up, and I'm just like, well, of course, I was waiting for that. Which part of the book are you on now? So okay. Um, uh, how can I say it without spoiling stuff though, in case you know other people want to read this book? Well, just tell me and edit it out. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. Did you expect 
Like the twists that have happened so far? Yes. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I'm just not invested. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna finish it, uh, but... I think we will finish today. Yeah, yeah. I wanna be done with it. Man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe by the end. I don't think it's gonna turn itself around. <laughs> I think this just wasn't my kind of read. I'm sorry. I failed. All right, guys, so as planned, we finished <laughs> reading our perspective books today. Um, and we have some thoughts. <laughs> I don't have those thoughts and opinions changed from page one to 100 to now. Um, not all of them. Uh, hmm. Was this, so we'll start with this, was this a failed experiment? Does this show that we should stick to the genres that we know and enjoy? I think that... Iced coffee, by the way. I don't think it was a failed experiment. Okay. Because it did... Did it open you up to the possibility of reading something else in the horror genre? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then I would call that a success. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just, this book was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not what I was expecting at mm -hmm. all. In a, in, a, in a good way or a bad way or a, um, I don't know way. I definitely mm. enjoyed parts of it and I still think the overall experience was a positive one. Mm -hmm. However, I was a little disappointed by the ending. I liked the way the last chapter was put in. That's not what I mean by I didn't like the ending. I didn't like the conclusion to the big what what's going on question mm -hmm. am i allowed to get spoilers on this part uh, well trying not to give actual spoilers so to speak so you kind of have to talk about it so, in a roundabout way obviously when the end ish is when it's revealed what has been happening in the town and what the big secret is and i don't know i personally <coughs> sorry felt that that was, um, I don't even want to call it a cop-out, because I'm not saying it was like a crappy storyline. I don't know. It just didn't feel like a horror novel to me. It just felt like a weird d drama. Okay. I don't know. It, I don't know. I, I think that once I was invested, I was like, ooh, this is going to be good. Mm -hmm. Like, I... I feel like the story is picking up, like I'm, I'm ready for it, and then, so I don't know, maybe I just had like too high expectations going in. So when it was finally revealed, I was like, oh, even the world that the author created, like it makes sense, but I was mm -hmm. just like, okay, I don't know. Now, we kind of debated about this earlier, uh, but we'll get your thoughts out there. Um, I said that I think one of the issues might be that uh, there was such a length of time in between reads. So, um, as a, I mean, I know I know that book very well, and it is it's a slow burn. Um, but Thomas Tryon builds it in a way that just that it takes its time building, but once you're invested, you're invested. Um, and I felt that, uh, you know, it, it, this has been a month. And it did take me a going month Going through to this book. Yeah. And uh, so I think that it would be a much different experience, perhaps, had you read it in the time span of a week, um, where you could really become invested in these characters as opposed to learning a bit about them. And, okay, that's kind of weird, and then I'll put it down, and then... 
four or five days later. I, I really you know. don't think it's because of that because <clears throat> in between the 50 and 75% mark, I felt like I, I was invested. Mm -hmm. and it was just too slow for you overall? No, I mean, yes, I did think the first half of the book was way too slow for me. Okay. But once I got to the halfway mark and I was reading up to like the 75% of the way mark, mm -hmm. I was fully invested at that point. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I was able to read the rest of the book very quickly. I think I was expecting something more horrific. Mm -hmm. It didn't give me that like horrific, unsettled, creepy, I didn't get that vibe, I don't know. Now that I've had that as an example, I have yeah. another book in mind for you that um, I think will be much more effective. It's, it's hard because I didn't hate the book. Like right. I still think it was it was a good storyline, so, and I found it was interesting. Are you going to rate the book? Uh, I knew you were gonna ask me that. I'm uh, I'm on the fence between three and four mm -hmm. stars. I think if I'm rating how good of a horror book it is. I would lean more towards like two or three, but if I think if I took out the idea that it's supposed to be horror, I think it would be like a three or a four. The first half of the book I didn't really enjoy, so mm -hmm. I feel like it doesn't deserve a four star rating. So we'll give it a three and a half. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But it's supposed to be horror, so I feel like it would just be well, like a two and a half or a three if so I'm rating it based off that, if I'm being honest. That's tough though because I... I... I don't know. Horror, horror is subjective, so you might be terrified of a silly, ridiculous book I have over there uh, about uh, cockroaches mutating and mm -hmm. and taking over the world, kind of deal. You know, it might horrify you, and I might read it and enjoy it, but think it's so silly and ridiculous that uh, you know. Well, yeah, I know, but I think it all comes down to how the author writes it. Like, you're not scared of clowns. No. But I think if you were given the right horror novel about clowns, you would be creeped out. If the author did a good job. Even if it's not one of your fears. So. Or something that you think <clears throat> is scary. I don't know. So, okay. So this is this is my thing. It's horror, um, but a horror novel is not necessarily going to scare you. Um, as someone that reads a lot of horror, I am... Um, almost somewhat jaded mm -hmm. so it's not that very, very little of what I read um, actually you know scares me or sends a shiver or anything like but it that. It should be like unsettling um, at the very least. Some of it is unsettling some of it though is just it's just that I don't know something about horror I gravitate towards whether it gives me those feelings or not um, it's still Horror. That's fine. That's why we're doing this. this is your opinions as an outside individual who yeah. is not typically in this genre. Um, I don't know why I keep slouching. I think I would say. <laughs> I guess I should just give it a three. I think a three. Um, maybe feel comfortable at. After after finishing. Twisted Love. Um, well, so. I've decided, uh, first of all, I've decided I'm, I've, I've marked it on Goodreads as complete, uh, but I'm not actually going to give it a rating. I feel that, uh, well, I feel that it's unfair uh, because this is not my genre at all, and I did not, I did not react well to this genre. So I don't feel that it would be fair to the author for me to rate this book because I'm not the intended audience, period. That's fair. Uh, and so she doesn't deserve a bad rating because I picked up a book that you knew you uh, I knew like. from the outset yeah. I probably wasn't going to like it. Uh, so I'm not giving an actual rating. So I guess on your end the experiment was a failure. <laughs> um, it's not that I'm not willing to try other romance. Uh -huh. But I, I think it needs to be very different. Okay. <laughs> um, because this was not a good one for me. Um, 
It's okay. I'm willing to try others. There's another. There's another one that you've been talking about that uh, that we were kind of talking about before, and you pushed around a little. And I think you might like. So. Punk Fifty Seven. Uh, by Penelope Douglas. Well, that's not the one I was referring oh. to necessarily, but. Um, well, I was thinking more of one of your romances that's based on uh, either Greek or Roman mythology. Ooh, yeah. Um, I think I might react better to that one. Uh, because if this is an indicator, uh, one thing that I've noticed is that, uh, much like in a lot of horror, this style of romance, it requires you to really extend your belief. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so I think maybe if I had one that was based around Greek mythology, uh, that belief is already... I see. Extended to begin with, mm -hmm. so it may be, I don't know, I may be able to connect a bit more with it, but because there were no other elements that, you know, there's not some creepy creature roaming the dark, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was just asked to ex to extend my belief in regards to uh, a series of scenarios that are very unbelievable all coming together into one, and like I said, I feel like I need that other element to maybe help me open up to that a bit more. On this side though, um, Twisted Love was not... You just did that thing! <laughs> what the... Okay. So Paige says I do this thing. She says I do this thing when I'm about to talk crap about a book. <laughs> And you I don't do that know thing with your tongue. I don't know. Watch what it, it back. <laughs> do the instant replay. <laughs> Apparently, I do something where I like touch the, what touch my tongue. <laughs> you gotta do my this. Teeth or, or something. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> well, regardless. I'm sure they know. I'm okay. sure you guys have noticed that uh, he does that. <laughs> someone will get a kick out of this. Cause someone else has noticed it. I'm sure, but. Uh, all right, let me hear it. Regardless, hear it. I just, no, I'm not, I'm not going to trash talk it mm -hmm. because it's a book that you enjoy and that's fair. Um, uh, it just, it didn't work for me. I don't know, it was just too unbelievable for me. And it was, like I said, it was, it was the thing I was talking about where there were so many tropes, so many stereotypes, so many things that just... Like the main character, the the main, the, the male. I I, could, I couldn't for a second believe that there just happens to be this guy that is uh, a genius and a billionaire, and he knows the governments of multiple countries, <laughs> and he's trained in the most deadly martial arts out there, um, and he has a perfect memory and convenient at this point to note that he also has this mysterious ability that just came out of nowhere. I'm like, <laughs> my gosh, man. Uh, so it, it was just, it was a bit ridiculous in that That's regard. That's fair. Uh, and other instances I talked about, you know, like the princess, I, I was just like, yeah, of course there's a friggin' princess, because that makes sense. You meet she, a princess every day. She gets her own book. Uh, well, the next book is about Oh, her. I know, I know. It, it, it very clearly uh, set that up at yeah. the end of this book. Of course. Uh, it was hard for me because um, you saw in Harvest Home, clearly... Clearly, our lead character is not the most likable individual. No. Um, and he's not meant to be a likable individual. Uh, right. They may have very brief instances in the book where you, know, you start thinking, okay, maybe he's all right. And then he immediately does some scumbag thing. Mm -hmm. You're like, wow, his wife needs to just leave him. Mm -hmm. He's a piece of crap. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're meant to feel that way all throughout. Yeah. Uh, you're not meant to necessarily feel sympathy for this guy. You're meant to feel sympathy for maybe his family, if anything. Yeah. Um, but with these characters, I was meant to like them, and I just didn't like them. Uh, and I, I just... 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, okay. I'm, uh, it's okay. I just didn't like that. I didn't like him at all. Um, he was his his mannerisms and the way he acted. He was the type of guy that I would uh, get into an argument and beat up just because he would drive me nuts <laughs> to have to listen to him talk about. You know, like, even even towards the very end of the book, he's like, well, this could happen, but <laughs> not really, because I'm Alex Volkov, and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> really, honestly. Or someone says, you know, hey, don't be stupid. I'm not stupid. I have an IQ of 160. <laughs> hey, dude, get over yourself. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, anyway, it was really... It was the characters. It's it's not that sex scenes bother me. I watch horror. There's some ridiculous sex scenes, believe me. Mm -hmm. In horror movies in particular. I'm sure. It gets ridiculous. In Harvest Home, there were very ridiculous well, sex scenes. Well, it gets ridiculous in the movies. Uh, so it's not sex scenes bother me. I, I just wasn't the intended audience. Uh, and... Again, I... Uh, I'm willing to give it another try. And maybe it'll help that I already I'm going into a book like that with uh, with some backstory. Sure, the characters have changed, but uh, something that'll you like know, ground you but, while you're you know, reading it. Okay, yeah. hey, there's Apollo. I at least yeah. know kind of what we're going for here, you know. Okay. Um, that is helpful. I have options. So. I have options. Not gonna give an actual rating, but obviously if I did, I think we know which direction. Well, you would have DNF'd it. I'd be going with it. Well, I wouldn't have yeah. read it to begin with. I know. Yeah, but you wouldn't have picked up Harvest Home. I would not either, have picked up Harvest so, Home. Um, I am glad that I read it. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. It just wasn't what I was expecting. That's fine. I already know which book I'm gonna pick for next time. Okay. So, uh, that was... That was an interesting... <laughs> experience. I think next time the the other book I have for you as well might um, it might be better in that uh, it's about half the length and it's a much quicker read. Okay. Um, I don't think the slow burn worked for you. No. Um, and I think that I, I think that uh, part of the issue as well was that uh, um, you know this is a book that I was reading on my phone. You were reading a paperback copy. Um, I will, you know, when I'm reading a book on my phone, uh, if I have 30 seconds in between walking into work and starting work, I'll read a page or two. Yeah. So then I go through 25% and then and I was wait waiting for, for you to have yeah. time because you don't have a lot of time either. So I had to wait for you to have time. Yeah. And then I, you know, so I think in between reading this book, I read who knows how many yeah. other books. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whereas you had to kind of slog through, yeah, because you had so little. It was a struggle for me to and, and, pick up the book. And it wasn't that you were reading a ton of books in between or anything either. You know, that was your physical book that you were reading, yeah. and you knew, oh my gosh, I still have another two hundred and fifty pages, and it's taking yeah. me this long to get through that, and you know. Yeah, it was a struggle. So I think next time we will both be better prepared. And, uh, yeah, so thank you for doing this with me, of course. Are you sure you want to thank me? <laughs> I do. Yes, I do. Because um, it was worth it for me just so that you could read Arbor Storm and so that I could perhaps slowly bring you into the fold of another genre. So I have... I think it did help. Uh, the, the next one, I think, the next one's going to be a good one for you. Yeah. Next one's going to be good for you. Thank you. Welcome. And thank you guys. Um, I have an empty cup here now, but... Uh, this is not coffee. It's a strawberry clearly. citrus tea, lemonade? I don't know. Sure. Uh, oh, but it does have caffeine in it, right? I don't know. Okay, well, regardless, <laughs> thank you guys for joining us. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, social experiment <laughs> Uh, and I hope you join us for the next one. Um, and we're gonna call it wraps here today. So. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>